Principle of least privilege, PULP, is the computer security concept of providing a user, role, or application the least amount of permissions to perform an operation or an action. And the way we can look at it is that we have just enough access, so JEA, permitting only the exact actions for the identity to perform a task. And then we have just in time, JIT, permitting the smallest length of duration an identity can use permission. So usually when we're talking about PULP, it's usually a focus on here, uh, but now, these days, uh, there's a larger focus on JIT as well. And so JIT is the difference between having long-lived um, uh, permissions or access keys versus short-lived ones. And the most progressive thing in PULP is now risk-based adaptive policies. So each attempt to access a resource generates a risk score of how likely the request is to be from a compromised source. So the risk score could be based on many factors such as device, user location, IP address, what service is being accessed and when, did they use MFA, did they use biometrics? things like that. And right now, at, as of this time, it was, does not have a risk-based adaptive policies built into IAM. You can roll your own. Um, what's interesting is Cognito has risk-based adaptive policies. They call it like um, adaptive authentication, but that's for user pools and not identity pools. User pools is for getting access to an app uh, that you have built through an IPD where identity pools in Cognito is about getting access to AWS resources. So uh, you know, maybe, I'm sure AWS will get it eventually, but they just don't have it right now. And you have to rely on third party um, identity solutions uh, to get risk based adaptive policies. Now, talking about just enough access and just in time, just in time is like you think, how would you do that with AWS? You just add and remove permissions manually. But one thing you could do is use something like console me. So this is an open source Netflix project to self serve short lived IAM policies. So an end user can access AWS resources while enforcing JEA and JIT. And so there's a repo there as well. Um, but the idea is they have like this self serve wizard. So you say I want these things and then the machine decides, okay, you can have them or you you don't need them. And it just frees you up asking people and worrying about the length and stuff like that. Okay.